I don't even know, Banks. Are you serious? Like, seriously, all jokes aside, no bullshit, no stream. How, like, how do you actually feel about this? Betrayed. Like, full-on betrayed by everybody. Everyone? Not every, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, I feel you. I mean, these are two really, really close people to you. Uh, Listen, yeah. at the end of the day, like, I'm sure you saw feedback in your community. Like, even the boys and stuff, like, we felt something off. And it was just like, it's one of those things. Sometimes you, it's, sometimes you got to learn shit the hard way and for yourself. Yeah, I know. And honestly, I promise you, today sucks. That sucks. But this is one of those things that you'll look back on and appreciate. You know what I mean? Because it's going to teach you a valuable lesson of about exactly that. Like, you can't be so fucking open with people. You can't be so trusting of people. Like, not everybody has the heart that you want. I know, but I don't, like, how do I, like, I don't know how, how I don't know how I could trust anybody, though. Like, when, like, any new person that comes in my life, I don't, like, how am I going to trust anyone new, anybody new now? Well, I've been fucked up, I've been fucked over more times than not by people, too, because I'm very, like, oh, I, we're kind of the same in that sense, where, like, I'm pretty open to everybody, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to trust whoever, let whoever through the door, and it's kind of like I give people trust and, like, allow them to break it, mm. um, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing or a bad approach for life, you just got to, like... When someone fucks you over on that level, you just gotta cut it off. It's over. Like, fuck those people. You don't need those people in your life. You're on a fucking sick trajectory. Going that way. Keep going that way. And you don't need a fucking ton of people in your life, bro. You have. Yeah. If, if you listen to anything I've ever told you, it's this. If you have two or three good people in your life that you genuinely know you can trust, that you, that you know love you and have your best interest, and vice versa, you don't need more than that, bro. True. You're lucky, Loki. You have two, three good fucking people. And honestly, bro... They're saying you follow her on IG. I did. I followed her back when she fucking... When we were all in Miami when I first met, when I first met oh. you guys. I'll unfollow that bitch right now. Listen, that bitch is a fucking rat. Honestly, like... And... Like I said, like... Do you have I good lawyers? Lawyers? You want to sue her? Her mom texted me and said they're going to sue me. You're good. Sue you for what? Uh publicly trashing her i mean as long as you're not saying anything false then you're 100 percent okay and yeah we have the best lawyers on earth i'll fucking drive that bitch and her whole family into the fucking ground <laughs> i can't believe they have the balls she her mom for real text to do that yeah and i never even had her mom's number or anything that is bananas that is insane yeah no don't be worried about that just don't speak don't fucking Full disclosure, everybody. Don't fucking harass her or her family, obviously. Please, that do not, not cool. actually. Like, that's weird. Obviously, you've said that and told them not to do that. Keep yes. the shit in here. We're all just talking. This is life shit. This fucking kid streams his whole life. So let's not go crazy and start doing weird shit. Um, but as long as you're not lying on anybody's name, you're just stating the facts. Bro, you're a real fucking human. And it's not like this girl didn't know what you did. You broadcast your whole life on the internet. So she must have knew... When she lied to you and did this to you and tried to manipulate you and fucking use you, that it could all blow up in her face. And it is. So that's a risk that she was willing to take. In her mind, she thought, you know what I mean? This was a good move for her career. Surprise, it probably fucking wasn't. And that's just like a, you know what I mean? She thought it was a good move to like make her career fucking boost, but it ended up just killing it. Regardless, bro, who gives a fuck? She goes off and does amazing things and becomes a billionaire and the happiest person ever who cares she'll be, she goes off she'll be she'll be putting twenty dollars into pump six in two years probably i don't know what that means but probably or oh pump six putting pump the six. fries in the bag yeah fries in the bag um no that's definitely more of a likely outcome but my point is like who gives a fuck right out of sight out of mind who cares who cares what anyone else is on it's about you and your fucking immediate circle your family you know what i mean yeah How's your fam doing? You talked to your fam yet? Have they reached out to you? Have they, do my, they watch your shit? My brother did just because he was like... Yeah, how old's your brother? 17, but he would like he would like talk to her. Like him and her were like friends, like they would talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I was, I don't know. But yeah, but... Don't feel too bad about it, bro. Fuck it. Now, let me tell you something. You're a young, handsome, well-spoken kid, and you're very successful, and you, there's... I hate to break it to you. It's one of those, it's one of the cons of, of being in this world and being in front of a camera and having, you know, a bunch of people who like you. It attracts 
that cloud chaser, gold digger type energy. I don't want that though. No, of I don't course, want a genuine of course, girl. bro. Of course. How do you think I fucking feel? I've been in LA for eight years. I've True. been in two relationships, and both of these girls were ultra successful. It was one of the only things that I like. Not that I give a fuck if a girl's successful or not. You're my girlfriend. I'm taking care of you regardless. It doesn't matter. I have all my own shit. I don't need anything from anyone. But like, it's one of those things that if a girl has money or her own shit going on, then it's like, wow, this girl actually likes me for me. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. And if they don't have that, shout out Alyssa. Shout out Tyson. Um, but the, both of these girls fucking, you know, only really got that close to me and became like my girl because... I knew deep, deep down, like, there was no shot that they weren't there for me because they had all their own shit. You yeah. know what I mean? So. So how do I find a girl that, like... I think either a girl who ain't about the internet fucking cloudy shit or a girl who's just on her own shit and doesn't need you for shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh... So I either find a girl who doesn't know that I'm lacy or I find who's a... Who's a good example? It's a random good, like, example that I can... Corinna Kopf, okay? Let's just say in a weird world... She slid on you, wanted to talk to you, wanted to date you, right? I'd sit, I'd confidently, I'd go confident in saying like, yeah, she probably fucks with you. You know what I mean? She's fucking richer than you, has more bread than you, has more followers than you. So like, what the fuck does she need from you? You know what I mean? So I, yeah, so I either find a girl that doesn't know I'm lazy or that is richer than me and more successful than me. Do, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but those two things are like auto indicators like this girl's here for the right reason you know like yeah. you can meet a girl who's in the same spot as Darla is in life and she could genuinely love you it's just a little bit harder to tell if it's genuine or not and honestly be a little bit more open to like hearing people's feedback like people who you know care about you like your community obviously cares about you yeah. we all care about you so you can pick up the phone and call me and ask me anytime yo what do you think about this what's your actual opinion about this and you mm -hmm. want me to be honest with you I'll be honest with you every fucking step of the way if I feel off so energy was, about somebody, when you when you first met her, what was your? I didn't I didn't have an opinion. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have an opinion. But then like you guys are here, and it just like it seemed a little bit too like she seemed a little bit too interested in the content side of your life rather than just like your personal side of your life. And it's just like that's a weird thing. Like again, me and Alyssa used to make videos and shit together, but that was my fucking best friend. I was in love with that girl. Like we were like ninety nine percent of our relationship was off camera. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Like, it worked. It, when it was good, it was really fucking good. But let me tell you something. When it was bad, also, it was really fucking bad. Like, the little, like, showing my relationship to the world shit is kind of... Who's Alina? A girl Who's that... Lena? She started... Uh, basically, me and her met when I was averaging, like, 200 viewers. And we got really close. And, um... It's just, like, a girl. She that, likes you? I think so, yeah. I think maybe also... Call a tree show over and have her give you top tonight. Sloppy, crazy top. Maybe you rim you. Give you one of those and fucking just turn off your cell phone and fucking watch a movie and bust a couple nuts. I, that always does the trick. Got any of those? I got, bro, you got those. Stop lying, man. This fool's got hoes over all the fucking time. Bro. No, I don't. All the time. Every fucking day. Oh, no, bro. He's been a crazy Why ass day. Oh, the cot? Yeah, that's funny. Today's been a crazy ass day, bro. I found out that like I don't know. I don't know how how could you lie to somebody that long and then to find out that they were she was plotting. I found out that she was plotting to do this. Yeah, that's nuts. Like she her manager had a percentage of it. She had like like plotting to just do this to somebody like yeah, how can you even work. do that as a human being work. again listen we are in the entertainment world and there are people i think this shit's corny as fuck but there are people who like getting these arranged like clouded like oh this is good for our careers type relationships if that's where your head's at that's what you want like you got to be transparent about that shit right like yeah if she would have told me that i would have just been like fuck no yeah <laughs> exactly that's what i'm saying but i think she knows that you're a genuine person would never do that so that's probably why she didn't you know don't take it personally, though. Fuck it. Most people are trash. So just chalk it up to you ran into an average person. They're saying Aiden's live. Is he? There's no way. You're really a big Aiden Ross fan, huh? Bro, why are they lying? Do they do that to you? Every day. Really? That's funny. And then, and then watch. They're all going to point and laugh. Watch, see? On that mog shit. They're mogging you, bro. Your chat's mogging you. 
That's crazy. Wait, that's awesome. Is that an emote or is that are they emo. emojis? That's fire. It's an emote. You gotta do it with the joy cat instead. What's that? That's the official the the cat crying face. They probably have that on Twitch somewhere, yeah, I'm gonna be the honest. Cat crying face. <sighs> man. Alright, man, I'm gonna let you get back to it. I just wanna let you know. Thank I fucking you. love you to death, seriously, with my whole heart. Appreciate you guys it. have fucking given me, you know, a breath of fresh air with this face shit. It's been so fucking fun doing this and building this with you Facts. guys. And just focus on that. Focus on the positive shit. Because life's good right now, no? Yeah, no, life's considered. really good. In this good. moment, maybe shit's a little bit fucking, you feel, feels bad. Yeah. I'm sure when you turn the fucking stream off and turn your phone off and you're alone in your head, it's going to feel even fucking worse. Exactly. Drink a fucking, drink a gallon of water and fuck a tree. And that's, it's always done the trick for me. My I love you to death. Here my you go. Thanks. Love Peace you, out, bro. stream. Love you. W Banks.